Greetings everybody, my name is Fury, and welcome back once more to some more Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, so I came over here to... Was it? Wrath's Killer... Wrath's Keller Fork, sorry. And found out there's a little mission over here that we need to do. Not to mention, I also found out that the funny man is up and running. So we'll have to go check him out also. And then, once we're done with that, we can go see good old Dickens. And See what shenanigans he wants me getting into. Hello, sir. What's going on? Hello? Hey, partner. I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They, they stole took her. Fire and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm going back to Tumbleweed again. Hello. All right, then. There's also a bounty here. I would like to do those at some point in time, but I... Hey, doggo. How you doing? Don't bite me, doggo. I'm I'm good. I didn't hurt anybody, doggo. Okay, so back to Tumbleweed again. Great. I think. Who are you to judge? All right. Well, let's go check out the funny man first, then we'll deal with the who are you to judge one. I got the feeling that's not going to be as bad. I get the feeling I just need to talk to him, right? Hmm. Nonetheless, it's kind of funny. I'm going to watch out for dogs out here because they are everywhere. Or not dogs. Wolves! There are wolves out here in the wild, wild west, and I don't want to be part of their next meal. What's going on over here? Something was going on. Uh. Uh. Okay. That's not right, so I'm just gonna go. Thank you. That's not good at all. Ugh. So, uh... I think I glitched out the game, so whatever was there is now no longer there. I'm hoping I don't do that again, thank god. Oof. Gotta stop doing that. Man, back up the tumbleweed again, though. It's like we can't escape that place. Makes me starting to think it really is haunted, or cursed. Maybe it's cursed, so every time uh, something goes down, we have to go back no matter what. And we can't stop, or it won't stop us, I don't know. One of the two options is happening, and that's all I know. Gang hideout is in the desert. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. We're not worried about the gang hideout, we're just worried about wherever the funny man is. That's the real question. Did he go into the mines? What the? Okay, he most certainly definitely went into the mine, didn't he? Because I don't... Unless he's in this building. No, he's down. So he's inside. I did not mean to do that! Ouch! Well, hey, I found the easy way into the mine. <laughs> Whoops! Ah, dang it. Okay, I'll go back over there. Curses. Ouch. I'll be right back. And I don't know what's happening. I die once and now everything is popping up again. Look who's back. It's the Californian again. Indeed. How are you doing, fella? Sam, we meet again. How you doing out here? Why the shout? Why the dancing? Why the laughter? I, I hope I can What happened to you? you? Keep this up and you just might. Are you okay? Well, my grandfather was, was a wise man who came from the east. He, he, he followed, a, followed a star. That, that's still me. 
I'm still following. Still dreaming. Still free. <laughs> you can't. You can't cage us. We are above. We we, we are above, and 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 we're free. You need Sam, a doctor, you really man. Come into town with me. You're not doing so well, out no, here. no, no. See, I was careless, sir. I I understand that now, but I I I will. I will find me my paradise. I will head west. I will. Come on, Sam. Probably just need a drink. You, you stay whoa, away from whoa. me. Sam. Whoa. Stay away. I will find me my California. I, I I will. God damn it, Sam. I really don't want to see him get hurt. California man, inactive, who are you to judge? Funny man, and I know you. Okay. Part of the counter, the story's not over. Odds are you will encounter them again in the future. Indeed. Okay, well, since I'm here, I'm just gonna say forget it. We're not going to the mines yet. We're gonna go deal with whatever this is for that man and figure out his horse. I swear, this place does not want to let me go, though. This place creeps me the hell out, and it just does not want me to go anywhere. So we gotta find this person's lover. Man, it's like every time I come back here, there's always some sort of bandits. Well, the gang hideout is deserted. That's good. So what does that mean for the lover? What are we looking for? Uh, hi there, ma'am. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Ball man shot him what? about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Jeb's girl. Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, oh dear God, my, no. Oh my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. Thanks. <laughs> well, come on, man. Uh, right, me. man. This is... Go. Not what I was expecting at all. Oh, man. I swear, dude, the Wild West, it had to have done something to some people. Look on your face, mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha! So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No. No, miss. I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? I'm just like you. A real sweetheart. <laughs> Or a fool. Uh, I like, ask, mister. I'd say a fool. Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most a little bit. Out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. I mean, it is kind of funny, John. Come on. We gotta admit, it's a little weird, but it's also funny. Alright, Jeb, we got your horse back. Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, alright. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. Oh, no. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. 
I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. Oh, dear God. Okay, time to go. We're out. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Hey, doggo. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I guess living out here would definitely give you some bad times. That one's pretty bad, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. I am out. I'm going to go find the funny man. And we're going to try and cleanse ourselves from what we just saw. I mean, I do have the shotgun here, but, you know, nah, it's fine. <laughs> we're going to cleanse ourselves, purity of this probably horrific thing that the Wild West has taught me is horrible. Just flat out horrible, and yet, weirdly enough, I can see all this stuff probably did happen back then. Yikes! Alright, let's go. Alright, and just like that, I made it back to the mine, finally. TNT everywhere, but at least there's nothing else down here, except you. I'm... Don't touch that. Do not touch that. I have you. Come here. I got you, bud. Man, you decided to come over here and visit Jimmy, the miners. I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. Hmm. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny. What? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. <laughs> Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Okay. Go on. Don't worry about me. My apparent ineptitude is just a comedic... The fuck? What was that? What was that? Okay, well, whatever. I'm getting out of this mine. Alright, I'm gonna go head over to Wil um, Mr. Dickens now, hopefully, and finish up what we started for trying to get to, uh, whatchamacallit, so... Will. Or Bill. Bill Will. Billy Boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. My brain's out of it. At least Funny Man is safe. We don't know what's happening with the Californian. I think he's not very well. And as for the others, I'm not as worried about it yet. Okay, we made it over to uh, Dickens. Let's see what's going on with him, shall we? What are you up to, Dickens? Can a swindler change his spots? Oh, oh no. Not again. Don't tell me you're trying this again. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston! Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. Oh. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, Ooh. this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, Sir, New customers, I take it. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. Uh huh. You, but, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, <laughs> and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> I... This is such a bad idea. I swear, your days are numbered, man. Snakes, oils, salesmen are... terrible. 
Uh. Well, if he's a swindler, at least he's doing his job right, so I'll take that. Mingle in the crowd? Oh no. This is not gonna end well for either of us, is it? Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, Plainview! Do you suffer from rheumatism? There's literally Bingo, snakes in there! Acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, oh. earache, backache, well, This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Chose Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time to get this <laughs> elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Oh, God, you're an idiot. This is getting intense. Let's go, my boy. I think we've outstayed our welcome here. You don't say. Now control radar zoom level. Oh. That man had a bad day. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. I mean, he's not wrong. God, though, I swear. Oh, this is not what I want to do. That's the last thing I wanted to do. I didn't mean to actually get off the horse. I didn't even actually know I could do that. Not the horse. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Shoulder shot. That's good. Puts them down on the ground. Man, I swear to... <laughs> Lucky, definitely not for you. I, science is respected, well, yes, but. A formality, I guess you should say. <laughs> I think they're pretty smart thinking for themselves. Wait, what? I'm not leaving you. I just wanted to go say hi to the poor man that was sitting there. So much for your roadblock. Oh my god, after this Dickens? You sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Keep your eye out, John. Plebeian ignorance, he says, as everything just goes wrong. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. How did you survive? Now what are you gonna do? I swear I shot that man in the head with that, but okay, I was wrong. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That time <laughs> I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. <laughs> in other words, we don't want to drink it. Never again. Thank you. Mr. Dickens, but I prefer to never have your tonic ever again, and I don't think these fine gentlemen would either. So, until we take care of this, I would like your help with Bill. Also, I just, I find it funny that this is literally what snake oil salesmen used to be like back then, kind of, so it's, it's pretty great. Uh, at least it's an experience, that's for sure. Oh my lord, there's so many of them. Are we almost to where you need to be? The old geezer? The old fool? This is where it is, buddy. Right here. Man, we are just 
we gotta be putting the numbers down in New Austin. This place has just gotta be losing people left and right because of me. Ouch. And, Mr. Dickens, what have we learned? That we should not be swindling like that. Oh, I see what happened. I think the other guy gets in the waist. So that guy ends up taking the bullet while the other one is perfectly fine. Rude. Block to my right. Uh, you know what? Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna put that on. We made it, John. There's Quavaseca up ahead. Man, Mr. Dickens, you got a lot of explaining to do someday, I promise. Until then, consider yourself lucky that you survived this. And you better be ready with this wagon. It better have the armor we need and everything else that's going to be going on it. Well, that was a little hairy. Hey, <sighs> you saved the day again. You're welcome. me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed <laughs> with how you nearly got us killed back there. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Good. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Just get your armor, please. Okay. Let's finish this off with Dickens and hopefully get it out of the way. Then we can get that stupid machine gun set. The sport of kings and liars. Oh boy. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> ah, the Trojan horse. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. Uh -huh. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. <laughs> Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into, into a more. tank, a literal tank. And I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. Yeah, oh, boy. Come on. Oh, I guess I just need to ride to it. Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied cousins. <laughs> Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Oh yeah. Before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, West Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. We mean it. Such a successful businessman. What are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John. For this That's entire it. time, we've been like this. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Creek, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. No, partnership I think we're good. As soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help. But I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. You better be 
Because, man, oh man, you're going to have a bad time if you're lying to John again. No. Comes down to family matters, man. This is uh, no obligation. Especially when the government is literally holding his family hostage. Alright, let's get ready. And here's the hope and no shenanigans ensue. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes the rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Oh boy. AKA, no cheating. Oh my lord. I know, I know you don't like it, but we have to. Ooh, wolves. Damn it. Man, this is not going to work out, is it? Damn it! It's like this last group of people I just can't get past. There we go. That's not good. Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Now we're ahead. Now we're doing work. We're gonna win this race, and we're gonna get that money, and then Dickens can go away, hopefully. That's it, come on. We're gonna win this race. You got this. I just had to get past, like, that first lead, because, oh my god, those guys were not letting me through. Ooh, wild horses on the mew. So whatever happens, don't fall off your horse then. Got it. Yeah, that sounds like it would be very, very bad. And painful. Ouch, I would not want to. No thanks. Ooh, I may have accidentally taken the high road. Actually, that may have not been an accident. That actually works out in my favor. Come on. Or we've got to be almost there, right? Come on, giddy up. Let's go. Ooh. And then let's hope the snake oils. Min is done and he gets his money for the armor. God, taking on Bill Williams' fortress, though? How many men can he possibly have? He can't have that many, right? Or am I just crazy to assume that he has, like, so little that it wouldn't even matter? Meh, doesn't matter. I'm having a good time nonetheless. Good old horse racing out in the middle of the Wild West and a nice night like this. I'd say this is a pretty good win in my opinion. And we win. Woo! He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. I think we should go. We got enough money now. All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? Mm-hmm. A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. <laughs> How could things possibly go wrong? Still prefer the Irishman, but that's fair. We'll see you soon, Mr. Dickens. 
And all that leaves is Irish, and then we can finally get into that damn fort. Hopefully. Excuse me, ma'am, I need to get through. I need sleep. Man, that's good on John. Dude is loyal to a fault. We love him for that. Good shit, John. Good shit. Take a nap. Need the ammo, though, I'm assuming. A little bit of ammo. Probably a good idea. Alright, so Irish, we're coming for you next. Is there anything I need to be aware of? Yes, there is. And what and what would that be? The funny man, of course. So the funny man shows up again. Alright, deal. Oh. What? <laughs> so who's, who's leaving? Who's staying? God dang it. Oh my god. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, I forgot that I'm wearing my mask still. Alright, I'm gonna go to the funny man quickly, because I think it is funny to go to the funny man. And then we'll go see Irish. So we'll see how this all works out in the long run, shall we? And at least we won that race, so I can take that with me. I swear, this guy just keeps getting in more and more trouble, so he keeps getting into his little problems with these hideouts. What are you doing here, man? Thanks, sport. And I snuck down sure, here to get here. Hero. Oof. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know? But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh-huh. Cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. Dude, you are nuts. And now I'm gonna have to get my way out of here, which I am definitely going to do by not engaging these suckers. So, onwards to Irish. Thank you very much. I don't feel like taking on a whole gang right now. <laughs> we can do that another time. Uh... Hello? collection from the sisters it's not much but we hope it gives you sustenance excuse me what is this all about thank you appreciate it what huh i i don't know why this was given to me but okay Obscure del Santo Andres. A blessed symbol from far off land. Enemies have less chance to hit you. What? Why did I get this? Interesting. Ha. Huh. Well, thank you, ma'am. I genuinely wasn't expecting that. Is that from, like, doing good deeds or something? What is that for? Thank you. I appreciate it. Nope, oh, didn't mean to do that. Huh! Well, what do you know? I learned something different. I never, ever, ever seen that before. So that's a new one for me, but cool. Thank you, ma'am. I guess our helping is doing some good in the world, maybe. I don't know if the choices really mattered all that much, honestly, in Red Dead 1. Maybe I'm wrong? Maybe there was, like, a bunch of stuff that you can get out of nowhere that I don't remember, but... I could be wrong. What's going on up here? Ah. Those guys are vibing. Having a good time. Okay, well, we're almost at Irish. I am sorry for kind of stopping and unpausing, but man, that's, uh... That's kind of neat. I like it. I love little dudes like that. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to do that. So, yeah, I'll take what I can get. Oh, God, more wolves. Wolves can't touch me in here. And I am going to do a quick save as well while I'm here. Before we go try and find Irish. Just because I don't feel like getting murked. What the? What the frick? What is this all about? Okay. 
Okay, I don't know what that's all about, but sure. Okay. Hey there, buddy. I am so confused. I don't know what's happening over here. Oh, shit! Oh, I'm not gonna catch him, am I? And that guy's still shooting at me. Hey, you! Get back here! Come here! I'm trying to... I'm coming! One sec! I'm gonna shoot him in the butt cheek. There. Got him! Sorry, ma'am. Uh... I don't... Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put her down and then untie her. What was this all about? Man, I, I come in here for like two seconds and this whole town is popping off. What is even happening anymore, man? Oh, my lord. Oh. Hello, and now I don't even know what was going on over here. Oh, is it because of the mask? You know what? Hold on. Hold that thought. I'm... You know, I get the feeling it is the mask. I'm gonna take the mask off. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what's happening and I just got here. Is it because of the mask? I don't know what I did, but sure. I'm just going to accept these terms, because I don't know what's going on anymore. Done. Whatever it is, it's over. At least, that's what I'm hoping, anyways. First I get some items that prevent people from hitting me, then I walk into this town, everybody's shooting at me! John Marston, you are a famous man, aren't you? <laughs> I swear! Okay, am I not going to get shot at now? Am I good? Can I say my prayers that I'm going to be fine over here? Ay ay ay. Nope, apparently not. Irish, what are you doing now? Maybe I should go after that guy. <laughs> Truly, I don't know. I'm just gonna let this happen and play out. I'm gonna go buy a gun. Then I'll go talk to Irish, because I don't know why this is happening, to be honest. Hello there. Hi, sir. Can I have a gun? <laughs> you can see, I carry the finest artillery. Springfield rifle. Three hundred dollars. Mm, do I want to sell? You can have the snake skin. Uh, thank you. I will take the gun. I guess three hundred. I'm fine. I got the money. Might as well buy myself some extra ammo too while I'm at it. God, I don't even know what happens. In this. And shotgun ammo. Wow, shotgun ammo is like 30 bucks here. Here we are. Holy crap. Okay, just gonna remind myself on that. Alright, Irish, what are you doing? What have you done? And why are you talking to those nuns? What are you up to? Irish. Up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Dude. Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend Amnesia. Oh, <laughs> blimey! I've come to tell you, 
if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Woo! Now get down there! Sisters, you may go. I have to deal with him. How are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. Oh. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies. What? I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. <laughs> so, uh, please excuse us. You may go, ma'am. He's an idiot. Irish. That Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. Uh-huh. And what do you have for me? I know where we can find the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. Damn it, I'm drink it too, mister. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm all right, thank you, though. What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? Think you can beat me? I'll show you. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pricks in fine working order. What a dusty specimen you are. I like that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. I'm sure you have. on my behalf. Bushwhacking, defenseless ladies of the cloth. You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed <laughs> just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. I mean, UK. Okay. Where are we going? Let's be honest. He's not wrong about that one. In Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's our setup. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Pobble tongued feller by the name of Shaky. Shaky. He's got the ammunition we need. Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to meet this shaky of yours, get the ammo, get the gun set, and get out. Irish, you concern me. I ain't gonna lie. Locked, eh? Damn it! That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Around the back? You mean go all the way around this way? Come on, Irish. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. <laughs> shyster. <laughs> I like that. Well, into the back then, shall we? Seems like there's a little bit of like a thing up there, maybe. Oh my god. Fine. What do you want, Irish? What do you need? Tell me what. My assumption is that door is also locked. Made the arrangements and oh, I'll know. oh, shite. Sounds like Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. oh! Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Oh, great. Master. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again. You know, you worry me. I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. 
Climb the ladder, sneak in, get shaky, get out. Okay, good plan. Like it. And then we need to really deal with this. Walk or crouch to avoid detection. Uh, this is a sneak mission. I don't like it. Sneak through the window. Hey, you hear that? You didn't hear anything. You didn't hear a damn thing. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Crap, I accidentally alerted that dude, so now I am in trouble. Must have been the wind? Hopefully. Okay, I think we un-got that guy's attention, so I think I'm good there. So what do we do here? Do we have to go down? So, sneak in, take out these three, get out. Boys. It's a good thing you're not looking back. That'll do. Oh, right in the kneecaps. Sorry, bud. Ah, I see why his name is Shaky. Thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. Woo! It's gonna be one hell of a fight. Well, stay down, and I'll get you out. Let's get out of here while we've got the chance. Damn! There's TNT over there, huh? Don't mind if I do. Woo! That'll do it. How did I get myself into th th this? Simple. You worked with Irish. See, that was your first mistake, Shaky. You worked with Irish. Oh my God. Go on. You open the door. I I'll cover you. All right, if you say so. This is not going to end well, is it? Great. There you go, that guy ain't getting up again at least. Ooh, is that a shotgun? This one has a shotgun. Alright, shaky. Take him out. I'll be seeing you in hell, my friends. My god, there's so many of them in here. Actually, wait, can I equip this? No, it's just like that, huh? Alright, fair enough. Alright, Shaky, where's the ammo, bud? We need that ammo and we need to get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay, good. It's right there. Woo. Yeah. Now we're even. Off even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 <laughs> hey. You'll get your half. More, you dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> f -f 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 fucking. 
Fuck. Oh, my nah. Fuck. All right, hop on. I'll get this out of here. Are you coming or not? Take it back. Not as happy about him as much as I want to be. I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. <laughs> Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Mm, we'll see how that turns out, though. And here they come. Damn, I knew they wouldn't give up that easy. Yeah, so did I. Wait, we're going to McFarland's? Out of all the places to go to, you want to take the wagon to McFarland? This is a bad idea. I don't think she needs this kind of heat right now. Jesus, we really back there. Here come on, bastards. Yeah, they're not getting that far. Believe me. Would you just keep driving the wagon? I don't like this, Maxton. Behind me, they like a bloody drone. Think your heart's gonna be beating like a lot of other things after this is over. Believe me. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Look west of Dublin. Fair enough. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. That'll do it. That'll put him down. Yeah, Irish, you really pissed off. Ooh, not the horse. Damn it! I swear, I'm not trying to aim at the horses. I promise, the horses did nothing wrong. Just these assholes. No. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. <laughs> well, I think you're ready for part master. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. Perfect. You're gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Yes, I'm it is, not, Irish. Friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Damn. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Aha. Uh -huh. Impressive, Marston. We'll have Wes Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. All right, Irish, you get out of here. We'll get prepped for everything that's going to go down. I think that's that. So all that's left now is... Prep up for the fight with them, yeah. Is that the Marshal? Who is that? No, that's it. Marshal Johnson, yeah. No, we're going to Fort Mercer after this. Yozer. All right, then. Hello? Hello. Well, then, I guess with that, everything is set to go. The machine gun's ready. The... Wagon is armed to the teeth, hopefully, and Seth is our extra backup along with the Marshal, hopefully. So hopefully with all that, we're going to continue onwards next time with our little adventures through Red Dead Redemption, and don't mind me with my mask on, uh, you don't see anything. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for joining me on this grand journey through Red Dead Redemption, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.